أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم وما هذه الحياة الدنيا إلا لهو والعيب and the life of this world is nothing but an amusement and a play it's like a drama in a drama in a picture show somebody is a king for three hours is a king but after those three hours what is he someone is beggar but he is a beggar for those three hours only after the show is over He takes his own robes away, and now he is a simple human being. So this is a drama going on. Allah has placed someone high, someone low. It's only for testing you. But ma hazil hayatu dunya illa lahu walaib. It's an amusement and a play. Wa inna dar al akhirat alayhi al hayawan. Verily, the life and house of the hereafter is the real life. This is not the real life. This is just the preface to real life. That you have a book, a very book, big book, but there is a small preface in the beginning. So this life of this world is like a preface to the book of real life. Lau kanu ya labun. Only if they had known it. Faizara ke bufil full. These things have come so many times when they are embarking on some boats and ships. Dawulla muklesin alahuddin. They keep on calling on Allah, praying Allah. And promising to obey him exclusively, for the man of Jahum and Elbar is Ahu Shrikun. But then Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala delivers them to the safety and security of land when they start, you know, declaring associates and and equals with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Le yet furu be maat hai now, so that now should they, they should be ungrateful. What with what we have given them, they will give to their idols what we have given them. They are presenting as a present and gift to the idol. Well, yet a matta also that they may enjoy for some time. For so far, Alamun, very soon they will come to know the reality. Our Lamira and Najalna Haraman Amin and Wayta Khatafun Nasu bin Halihim. Don't they see that we may we have made this sanctuary, this Haram, a secure place, place of peace for them, and from around them people are snatched away. Afa bil baatil yu menun. So do they believe in falsehood? Bawani matillahi furun, and they are disbelieving the bounties of Allah. Baman nazlamu min maniftara ala Allahi kaziban, and who is more greater in evil, except no, except more than who, him, who has concocted or forged a lie against Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala? How can the babil haq kila maja? Or he belies the truth when it comes to him? The greatest sins are that somebody should say that I have received the revelation, while no revelation has come to him, or he refuses to accept the true revelation of a messenger. Both crimes are equal. Allah Sufi Jahannam Maswad Lil Kafirin is not the hell a lodging for the disbelievers. Last ayah, most important and connected with the first section. Well, as in a jahadu fina, la nahdi yang nahum subulana. As for those who strive in our way, we shall definitely show them our our ways. We shall guide them. This is our firm promise with them. They should guard up their loins and start. We shall lead them. We shall hold their fingers and lead them to the paradise and heaven. وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَمَعَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ And verily, indeed, surely, Allah is with those who do good deeds, who are excellent in their actions. اللَّهُمَّ جَعَلْنَا مِنْهُمْ اللَّهُمَّ جَعَلْنَا مِنْهُمْ اللَّهُمَّ جَعَلْنَا مِنْهُمْ آمِينَ يَا رَبَّ الْعَالَمِينَ This is Surah Al-Rum. 
I should have told you that in the Mushaf now we are having four surahs which are starting with these alphabets Alif, Lam, Meem. First was Surah Al-Ankabut, we have already read it. Second is Surah al -Rum. Third is going to be Surah al -Rukman. And the fourth Surah al -Sajda. These are the four Makki Surahs which start with Alif, Lam, Meem. Then we have in the very beginning of Quran two Madani Surahs which start with the same letters Alif, Lam, Meem, Surah Al-Baqarah or Surah Al-Imran. Now these Surahs, they actually were revealed to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam during the middle four years of his stay at Makkah. I told you the Makki period can be divided into three parts. First four years, middle four years, then the last four years. The first two main groups of Bakki Surah, Surah Al-Anam, Araf, and then the fourteen Surahs, from Surah Al-Yunus to Surah Al-Mu'minun, they were revealed during the last four years of his stay at Makkah, except for Surah Al-Hijr. Then these two groups, one group which has started from after Surah al Nur, Al Furqan, Al Shu'ara, Al Naml, Al Qasas. Then Surah Al Ankabut, Surah Al Rum, Surah Al Luqman, and Surah Al Sajda. And then will come another Surah, Madani Surah, that is Ahzab. And then after Ahzab, 13 Makki Surahs. So these are the Surahs 8 plus 13, 21 which were mostly revealed during the middle four years of his stay, of the stay of the Prophet Sallallahu at Makkah. Except for Surah Shuara. There are exceptions, but generally those rules hold. Now this Surah was definitely revealed just like Surah al Ankabut in the fifth or sixth year after the beginning of Wahi on Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In the same way it is also definite that it was revealed in the sixth or fifth year after the beginning of Wahi to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Alif Lam Mim Walibat in Rome. The Romans have been defeated. Fi Adnul Ard in the land close by. Wahum Mim Badi Ghala Bihum Sayyidun and after this defeat of theirs, they will soon be victorious. Fi Bizar Sinin in a few years. The Allah Il Abru Min Qablu Wa Min Baad. To Allah belongs the command before and after. وَيَوْمَ إِذِي يَفْرَحُ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ And on that day, the believers will also be rejoicing بِنَسْرِ اللَّهِ With the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala يَنْصُرُ مَنْ يَشَاء He helps whomsoever he wants وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الرَّحِيمُ And he is the mighty one, the merciful وَعَدَ اللَّهِ This is the promise of Allah لَا يُخْلِفُ اللَّهُ وَعَدَهُ Allah doesn't go back on his promise وَلَكِنَّ أَكْسَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ But most of the people know not now it is clear from these six ayats that there is a historical background behind it. First of all, you should have an idea that the Arabian Peninsula is like this. And over this peninsula is Syria on the left side and Iraq on the right. These are also part of Arab world. Iraqul Arab, Shamul Arab and Al Jazeera. These are the three parts of the Arab world. Iraqul Arab, Shamul Arab, and Al Jazeera, the Arabian Peninsula. Now, there were two superpowers of that age. One was the Roman Empire, one was the Iranian Empire. These were the two superpowers of that time. For several hundred years, they were, you know, the superpowers. And then, you know, history had been playing a game of seesaw between the two em empires. Sometimes the Romans came to the east and they ran over most of the area that was occupied by the Iranians and defeated them. Sometimes the Iranians advanced and pushed the Romans into the Asia Minor. Roman Empire was a very big empire. It had its occupied areas in the north of uh, Africa, west of Asia and east of Europe. But then, you know, if the Iranians advanced, they pushed these Romans into Anatolia, the, the Asia Minor. 
And when the Christians, these, these Romans, they advanced, they pushed uh, Iranians back. Now what happened in the year? It was year 615, when Muhammad Sallallahu had been giving his dawah for five years. Revelation started to come to him in the year 610. In 615 A.D., Romans got a very big defeat at the hands of the Iranians. All this area, Syria was gone from their hands, Jerusalem gone from their hands. You know, and for those Christians, that was a very sacred area. So a very big downfall came on the Roman Empire. Now because the Iranians were the worshippers of the fire, the idolaters of Bakka and Arabia, they rejoiced. And they taunted to the Muslims, these people, the Christians, they are nearer to you. They are the people of the book. You accept Jesus. Now they have been defeated. And they are more nearer to us. They are worshipping fire. And we are worshipping these idols. So they are our brothers. And they have triumphed. So this was the event very, which was very important. And due to this, the Muslims were also somewhat depressed. Because the people of the book were defeated by those who were worshipping fire. On this, Hazrat Abu Bakr entered into a betting agreement with one of the Kuffar of Bakka. That if this prophecy, Quran says that within a few years, the Romans will have the victory again. In a few years. To Allah belongs the authority before also and after also. On this he bet and he entered into an agreement of betting that if this prophecy doesn't come true in three years, then I'll give you hundred camels. If it comes true, you give me hundred camels. But the prophet said, you have committed a mistake. The word biza in Arabic, it covers the figure up till nine, less than ten. So you change your bet, increase the number of the years to nine. And you can include also the number of the camels. So he changed his bet in, accordingly. Exactly in the nine years after this event, in the year 624, the tables were turned. Heraclius, the Roman emperor, he now invaded Iran from the northern area, from, you know, this, between the Caspian, from where the Gogs and Magogs used to come in the, in the ancient times. Uh, the, you know, the way was blocked by Cyrus or Zulkarnayn. We have read it in Surah Al-Kahf. From Armenia and Azerbaijan, he came down and he gave a very, you know, very big defeat to the Iranians. So the prophecy came to be true. al islami Rum, the Romans have been defeated. Fiat Nalard, in the close by land. Now land is Syria, etc. was very close to the Arab Arabian Peninsula. And after this defeat of theirs, they will again be victorious. In a few years, less than ten. To Allah belongs the authority before and even also after. On that day, the Mormons, the believers will also be rejoicing. Why? The same year, Muslims got the victory of Badr. Same year, 624. On the one hand, Christians defeated the Iranians, the worshippers of fire. And the Muslims, they defeated the army of Bad, army at Badr of Kufar, which was led by Abu Jahl. So, Yawmaydi Yafrahul Mu'minun. The believers here in the Arabian Peninsula, will, they will also be rejoicing with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He helps whomsoever he likes. And he is all-powerful and all-merciful. And this is the promise of Allah. Allah doesn't go back on his promise. But most of the people know not. They don't know. Even of this world, this life of this world, they only know the outside of it, outward aspect of this life. I was asked a question regarding the ayah of Surah Al-Ankabut. 
illa lahwum wa la'ib. Now this life of this world is nothing but amusement and play. The brother asked, but Allah says, ba khalaqta, ba khalaqta batila, this world and this creation is not purposeless. So now here it is being said that this is all amusement. So answer is, if this life blocks your vision of akhirah, then it is nothing. It is just, you know, a dhoka, a deceit, and nothing else. Mata'ul gurur, a material of deceit. But if you know akhira also, and use this dunya to earn akhira, then this is the most important part of our life. And this is given in a hadith, the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, ad-dunya mazraatul akhira. This dunya, this world, is the sowing field for Akhirah. You sow here to reap there. But if you don't sow here, what will you reap in the Akhirah? In that regard, it's more important. Each and every second, I, I said while explaining Surah al muminun each and every second of this life is very important. Because what you are doing, that is going to be rewarded in a life which is eternal, no end. So therefore, potentially, each second of this life becomes eternal, potentially eternal, because its results are going to be spread over an eternal time. So hence, this life is very important. But if it has blocked your vision of the Akhirah, and you are lost in this world, then this is nothing but a drama, nothing but an amusement, nothing but a game. Yalamuna zahiram al hayat dunya they are seeing out of this worldly life also, they are seeing only the exterior of it. Regarding the Akhira, they are absolutely heedless. Because in this world also, if you peep down into your hearts, if you search your souls, you will find something. But mostly people keep themselves engaged in the external world, world outside. Keep busy. Never think, Never, you know, ponder over something. Never search your souls. Never peep down into your hearts. So this is actually the present society. In the next surah you will find people, people you know today have invented methods to keep people busy. Don't let them think. They should be busy in the television. They should be busy with the games. Cricket is going on. Oh, everybody is talking about it. And you know, people are just tied up to their television sets and they are losing time and everything. And these things, they have attracted people. And they don't have any time. Either you are going to your work, they are busy with your work there. Job. And job, you know, is the most important thing here. It's the biggest era in, in America. Job is the biggest era. You must have a job, otherwise you are nowhere. So, either you are in job or you are in amusement. You are never alone to yourself to be able to think. And then you go to sleep taking some sleeping pill. Go off. Not thinking. If you think, and if you meditate, and if you peep down your hearts, if you search your souls, you will find. There are our signs within you also, but you don't see them. This, the same subject has come. Have they never pondered over their own selves, reflected over them? Allah has not created the heavens and the earth and whatever is between the two, but with truth and with purpose. Wa And an appointed term. This creation is not eternal. It will not remain forever. As I said in the last lecture, a time will come when nothing will exist except Allah. In the end of Surah Al-Qasas we had this ayah. But most of the people, they are refusing that they are going to meet their Lord. Have they not traveled in the land and saw for themselves what was the end of those who were before them? They were more in, in might and power than them. 
This nation of Aad was a very mighty nation and a very big culture. Our Asaru Larda Abaruha, Aksara Bima Abaruha. And they tilled the land and built upon it more than these have built. Wajaatum Rusulum Bil Bayinat. And to them also our messengers came with our clear signs and clear teachings. Famakan Allah Yazdimahum. Well, Allah was not unjust to them. But actually they were doing wrong to themselves. Then the end of those who had done evil was evil. It had to be evil. That they rejected the revelations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To add insult to injury, they were mocking at the revelations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They were laughing and mocking. Allah yabdaul khalqa summa yu'iduhu. It is Allah who originates the creation and then repeats it. Summa ilayhi turja'oon. In the same way, He has created you and then you will again be recreated, resurrected, and then you will be returned to Him. Wayawma taqumu sa'atu yublisul mujrimoon. And when that hour comes, well, these guilty people shall be absolutely disappointed and despaired. They will have no hope. They will have no intercessors on, the, on their behalf from those whom they thought that they are the partners of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then they will, deny, they will be denying their shuraka there. And when this hour will come, they will be divided. Divided into whom? فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا صَالِحَاتِ فَهُمْ فِي رَوْضَةٍ يُحْبَرُونَ As for those who had come to believe and who had done good deeds, they will be happy in a garden. وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَكَذَبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا وَلِقَائِ الْآخِرَةِ And as for those who rejected the faith and belied our revelations and belied that they were to meet us, فَأُولَائِكَ فِي الْعَزَابِ مُفْتَرُونَ they will be brought forth to the worst chastisement. For subhanallah hina tumsuna wa hina tusbihun. So Allah be glorified when you enter the evening and when you enter the morning. And for him is the praise in the heavens and the earth. And you should praise him and glorify him in the afternoon also. And when the, the sun declines to the west during the noon. Yukhrejul hayya min al mayyit. He brings forth the living from the dead. Wa yukhrejul mayyit min al hayy. And brings forth the dead from the living. Wa yuhil arda ba'da mawtiha. And he gives life, revives the earth after its death. Wa kazalika tukhrejun. And in the same way, you will be taken out from the, from the land, from the earth. Wa min ayatihi an khalaqakum min turabin. Now, in this section, third section of this surah, you will see the, repeatedly, min ayatihi, <coughs> min ayatihi, as we had in Surah Al-Nahl, inna fi dhalika al-ayati liqawmi yasma'oon, inna fi dhalika al-ayati liqawmi yubsiroon, inna fi dhalika al-ayati liqawmi yaftahoon. This is, but the pattern and style is different, subject is the same. Wa min ayatihi, it is from his signs, khalqakum, khalqakum min turabin, that he created you out of Mud. Summa iza antum basharun tantasharun. And then, behold, you are mortals, human beings, scattered around, moving. Mamin ayati. And from amongst his signs, an khalaqa lakum in anfizikum azwaja. That he created from your own selves, or we may call from your own species, wives for you. Litaskunu ilayha. So that you have repose in them. Vajala bainakum awadatam wa rahmah. And he produced between you love and affection and mercy. In the fizalikal ayat al karun. In in this are the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his wisdom, his creation, his power, his authority. But for those who ponder, who reflect, who think. And from his signs are the creation of the heavens and the earth. And the diversity and difference in your tongues and colors and who's in the fizalik al ayatil lil alameen. In these are the signs for those people who know. 
wa min ayatihi manamukum bil layl wan nahar and from amongst his ayat and signs is your sleeping during the night and the day the midday you know afternoon nap also included in the ayat of allah subhanahu wa taala but people in the west absolutely deprived from it we in the east enjoy this blessing of allah subhanahu wa taala take some time out during afternoon for the nap wa min ayatihi manamukum bil layl wan nahar you are sleeping during the night and the day wa tawaukum min fadli and then you are seeking the bounty of allah subhanahu wa taala during the day inna fi zalika la ayati li qaumi yasmaun verily in these are the ayat the signs for those people who listen wa bin ayati yurikum al barqa khawfan wa tab'a and from his signs is that he shows you the lightning with fear and hope maybe some cyclone is coming to so that is the fear maybe maab mubarak ka good rain is coming that is the hope but when you see lightning you know both these things occur to you wa yunazzulu min as-samaa'i ma'an and he sends down from the heaven water fa yuhyi bihi al-ardha ba'da mawtiha and revives the earth the land after it was dead inna fi zalika la ayati li qaumi yaqilun verily in this are the signs for those people who have the understanding wa min ayati an taqum as-samaa wa al-ard bi amri and it is from amongst his signs that the heaven and earth they keep staying balanced they keep staying balanced summa idha daakum daawatan min al-ard then he will call you one call from the earth idha antum tukhraju takhrujun you will be coming out and you will emerge from your graves wa lahu man fi as-samawati wal ard and to him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth kullu lahu qanitun all are obedient to him wa huwa alladhi yabda al khalqa thumma yu'idu he is the one who creates originates his creation and then he will repeat wa huwa ahwan wale and there is easier on him to create for the first time was difficult but to repeat it is easy wa lahu al masal al ala and to him are the loftiest similitudes in the in the samawat and the earth in the and the highest attributes in the heaven and the earth wa huwa al-azizur rahim hakim and he is the all powerful all wise zalama lakum masalan min anfusikum allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strikes a similitude from yourselves hal lakum mimma malakat amanukum min shuraka fi ma radaknakum fantu fi sawa do you have from amongst your slaves whom your right hands possess from them do you have shurakas associates equals in what we have given you you make them your partners so that you become equal with each other you are the master you have a slave you own this 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 do you include this slave in this ownership no Quran takes the similitudes from the society. The society was there, the slaves were there, the masters were there. Now no master was ready to make his slave a partner with the, in his property. Takafu na hum ka khifat ekum anfus ekum. Do you care for them as much as you care for yourself? If you are sick, you run to the doctor. You give the highest fee. but as for your slave do you care that much maybe you send him to the the community hospital you know <laughs> to go there but you don't care for him as you care for you so can allah adopt partners from his own creation how come if you can't imagine it for yourself kazalika nufassiru alayat li qaumi yaqilun in this way we detail our ayat our revelations for those people who know But these evil doers actually, they are following their desires and lusts. They are not following their intellect. Yes, they are not following their intellect. They are not following their intellect. They are not following their reasoning. They are following the desires and lusts and the wishes of the id or the libido. They are very ill and they have no knowledge. For man yahdi man adam Allah, so who can 
bring to the right path the one whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent astray. وَمَا لَهُمْ مِنْ نَاصِرِينَ And for them there are no helpers. فَأَقِمْ وَجَهَكَ لِلْدِّينِ حَنِيفًا So keep your face fixed for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as absolute upright man of pure faith. فِتْرَةَ اللَّهِ الَّتِي فَجَلَ النَّاسَ عَلَىٰ عَلَيْهَا This is the true nature of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on which He has created human beings also. This ana, this self, this is in Allah, ana, and a small ana He has put in us also. As I told you, Allah Iqbal says, the infinite ego of Allah and the finite ego of man, they come face to face in prayer. When I am praying, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Maliki, Yawm, Indeen, Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nastareen. Now I am conversing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I am face to face. That's why the Prophet said, As-Salatu Mirajul Mu'mineen. This is like Miraj. If you have the real Salah, you are praying really, then it is equal to Miraj. فَاقِمْ وَجَهَكَ لِلْدِينِ حَنِفَةً فِتْرَةَ اللَّهِ اللَّتِي فَتَرَ النَّاسُ عَلَيْهَا لَا تَبْدِيلَ لِخَلْقِ اللَّهِ There can be no change in the creation of Allah. ذَلِكَ الدِّينُ الْقَيِّمُ So this is the right religion, the system of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which will stay forever. وَلَكِنْ أَكْسَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ But most of the people know not. مُنِيبِينَ إِلَيْهِ O believers, turn to him, وَاتَّقُوهُ and fear him, وَاقِيمُ السَّلَاةَ and establish the prayer, وَلَا تَكُونُ مِنَ الْمُشْنِكِينَ and don't in any way be with those who are associating anything or anyone with Allah in any way. مِنَ الَّذِينَ فَرَّقُوا دِينَهُمْ from among those who have divided their deen, who have split up their deen, كُلُّ حِزْبِ مِبَادَ دَيْهِمْ فَرِعُونَ And every group and every sect is rejoicing with what they have. You know, this deen is a whole. But then, when a messenger of Allah came, he gave you the whole deen. After him, after a few generations, now people split the deen. And this part is taken by the ulama. This part is taken by the sufiya. The politics is taken by the Salatin and kings. That one deen has been split into three. Then there are sects, according to <coughs> different sects of beliefs and creeds. So now everyone has one part of deen and he is rejoicing that I have the best deen. So this is the condition of the sects, you know, in, in the deen of Allah when there is a downfall, a degradation, then that deen becomes split into sex. And when some affliction touches the mankind, they call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fully turning to Him. When He makes them taste mercy from Him, then some of them begin to make, to, to, as, to declare associates with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that they should be ungrateful. But with what we have given them, what we have given them, they are spending in sin. We gave them this thing and he is spending this for a sin. We gave him this money and he is using it to purchase liquor. So, our blessings, they are actually being ungrateful to us. So very soon they will come to know the reality. Have we sent down to some, some proof, some scripture, which says to them that these are actually associated with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's no scripture in the world, no allegedly Divine scripture coming from heaven, which, which says that this is the associators with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَإِذَا nasa rahmatan فَرَهُ بِهَا And when we make people taste our mercy, so they are, they rejoice with it. وَإِنْ تُسِبْهُمْ سَيِّئَةٌ And if some affliction comes to them, 
دماغ قدمت اے دین ڈیو ٹو وٹ دیئر بوتھ ہینڈز ایف سینٹ سینٹ فارورڈ از آم یقنتون دین دے بیکم ایبسولیوٹلی ڈس اپوائنٹڈ اینڈ ڈسپیئرڈ اولم یرا ان اللہ یفسط رزق لمن یشاء ویقدر ڈونٹ دے سی دیٹ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی آؤٹ اسپریڈس دی پروویژن فار ہوم سو ایور ہی ولز اینڈ ریسٹرکٹس فار ہوم سو ایور ہی ولز ان فی ذالک الایات لقوم یؤمنون ان دیز ار دی سائنز فار دوز ہو بلیو فآت ذل قربا حقه سو او دی ون ہو بلیوز یو گیو یور ریلیٹیوز دیئر رائٹ دیئر ڈیو you have to pay them you have to help them aat al qurba haqq and this is their right wal miskina and the needy wabna sabil and the traveler or the wayfarer zalika khairul lil ladina yuriduna wajha allah this is better for those who seek the countenance of allah the face of allah that is the pleasure of allah wa ulaika humul muflihun and definitely they are the ones who will prosper in the hereafter وما اتيتم من ربا ليرموا في اموال الناس ان وات ايفر يو جيف اون يوزلي اور انٹرسٹ سو ذات يور ماني گروس ود دي ماني اوف دي پيپل يو هاف گيون سم ون 1000 ڈالرز ناؤ هي از ڈوئنگ هيز بزنس هيز اون ماني از ذير اند يور 1000 ڈالرز ار السو مکس وت ذيم ڈيو ٹو هيز ورک هيز هارڈ ورک ذس ماني از گروئنگ and your 10000 dollars are also growing with them with that without any effort from you and you are charging interest on it this is riba this is haram wama ataitum mir riban la yarbu fi amwal an-nas whatever you give to people on interest or usury so that it should increase in the in the wealth of the people fala yarbu in allah it doesn't increase at all with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وما اتيتم من زكاة ان واتس ايفر يو جيف فور تشاريتي تريدون وجه الله اند يو وانت دي كاونتيننس اوف الله دي بلاير اوف الله فور وذ ذات اولئك هم المضعفون اونلي دي ويل بي دي شود هاف ماني فولد انكريس سو ربا از ابسولوتلي اپوز تو زكاة وات از ربا ذير از سم سرپلس وذ يو يو ار ارننگ يور نيڈز ار فولفيلد you have saved something now this saving is surplus with you now with this surplus you can do two things either you invest it again into earning or you give it for the charity first choice should be you give it for the charity yes aluna ka maza yunfiqun qul al af this surplus actually should be given in the way of allah subhanahu wa taala either in charity to the needy people or for the deen of allah to propagate it and to make it established in the in the land but if you want some investment then that investment should be halal it should be muzaraba or musharaka no riba what is riba you say okay brother you take this money you do business i never care whether you earn something or you lose something i will get 10% from you or 12% or 20% this is haram and there is nothing in islam more haram than this even adultery is nothing before it because the prophet says ar riba sab'una huban 70 sins are there in one sin of riba and these 70 are not equal some are greater some are smaller sins asaruha the least and the smallest of these sins is equal to ayyan ka rajul ummahu that a man commits adultery with his own mother This is the ratio proportion. وما أتيتم من ربا ليربو في أموال الناس فلا يربو إلا الله. وما أتيتم من زكاة تريدون وجه الله فأولئك هم المزفون. الله الذي خلقكم ثم رزقكم. Allah is He who has created you. Then He has provided you sustenance. ثم يميتكم. Then He will put you to die. ثم يهيكم. Then He will revive you. هل من شركائكم من يفعل من ذلك من شيء؟ is there anyone whom you are associating with allah who can do anything among these subhana glory is for allah wa taala ma yushrikun and he is high and high and above from all those things with which they are associating zahar al fasad fil barr wal bahr bima kasabat ad nas 
corruption and mischief has come up and covered the whole globe, the land as well as the oceans, due to what the hands of people have earned. They use so that Allah should taste them, make them taste reward of some of their sins. Maybe they their eyes are opened and they come back. Now you know this this world, all the crises, water crisis is threatening, pollution is threatening, then the population explosion is threatening, then there are weapons of destruction, mass destruction, biological, chemical, atomic, all these things. What is this world? A fearful thing now. There is facade. At any time, if by mistake, you know, some button is pressed, maybe this just explodes, this whole, whole earth might explode. Because if, immediately there will be an atomic attack from this side, and immediately there will be a response from the other side. What will happen then? Zahar al fasad of al bahar. But there is another meaning of this facade. Today on the whole of the world, there is a revolt against Allah. Even those who believe in Allah, they are not ready to take Him and accepting Him as their ruler. We are our own rulers. Sovereignty belongs to us. We will frame the laws. Our representatives will sit and they will make the rules. We don't care about any divine rule and divine laws, what he has prohibited and what he has permitted. We don't care. We are the sovereigns. This is global revolt against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rebellion. Zahar al-fasad of al-barri wal-bahri bima kasab zahidin nas. Now what is humanity tasting, you know, the bad taste of these things? Kul siru fil Say to them, O oh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, go around this land. Anzuru ka fakana aqibatul ladzina min qabl. See for themselves what was the end of those who were before them. Kana aksarhum mushrikeen. Most of them were the idolaters, the associators with Allah of some or some other deities. Faqim wajha ka lidhin il qayyim. So you, O oh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and through you, I am, through Muhammad, I am being addressed and you are being addressed. You keep your set fixed and set for the deen of Allah, and which is everlasting deen. The deen which will go on and go on till the last, till the end of this world. Before that, that that time comes of your death or of that hour of Qiyamah, which will not be able to be averted by anybody. Yawma On that day, they will, they will be, they will be divided. Man kafara fa'alayhe kufru. Whosoever had disbelieved, so upon him will be the burden of disbelief. Man amila salihan, and whosoever had did, done good deeds, so they are providing for their own selves. So that Allah may reward those who have the real faith and do good deeds from His bounty. Verily, He doesn't like those who disbelieve. And it is also from His signs that He sends the winds bringing the glad tidings that rain is coming and coming. People were waiting, waiting, waiting for the rain. And now, you know, that breeze has come, as if a message has come that the rain is near. that he should make you taste his mercy. And so that there is water in the rivers, and you know, the ships can move. So that you can seek Allah's bounties. You are, you, by trading through the sea routes. But the end result of all of this should be that you should be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And before you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, 
we sent many messengers to their nations. Fajahum bil bayyanat. They came to them with clear signs and clear teachings. Fantakamna min al lazin ajrabu. Then we take our vengeance. We took the vengeance upon those who were guilty. Wakana hakkan alayna nasul mu'minin. And it was binding upon us that we had to help the believers. It was the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with all the messages of Allah, Nu and Hu and Saleh and so on and so forth, that you will be saved in the end. When that chastisement will come, all these disbelievers will be destroyed, but you and your companion believers will be saved. وَتَعَنَ حَقَّنَ لَيْنَا نَسْفُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Allahu الَّذِي يُرْسِلُ الْرِيَاحَ فَتُسِيرُ السَّحَابًا Allah is He who sends winds and they raise a cloud. فَيَبْسُطُهُ فِي السَّمَاءِ Then Allah spreads that cloud in the, in the heaven. كَيْفَ يَشَاءَ as He likes. وَيَجَنُهُ كِسَفًا Then it divides into fragments. فَتَرَ الْوَدْقَ يَخْرُجُ مِنْ خِلَالِ And then you see rain is coming from in between them. فَإِذَا أَصَابَ مِنْ بِهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ إِذَاهُمْ يَسْتَبْتَشْرُونَ And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He takes this rain to some of the persons from His bondsmen, well, they rejoice that now our fields, you know, had water, and now our crops will, you know, come up. وَإِنْ كَانُوا مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ تُلْ يُنَزْرَ عَلَيْهُمْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ لَمُبْلِسِينَ Although, surely, before the coming of the rain, they were absolutely disappointed and despaired. فَانْزُرِ لَا أَسَارِ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ So see the marks of Allah's mercy. كَيْفَ يُحِي الْأَرْضِ How He revives the land. بَعْدَ مَوْتِهَا After its death. إِنَّ ذَلِكَ لَمُحِي الْمَوْتَ Verily, He who is doing this, reviving the earth after death, He will revive the dead also. وَهُوَ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ شَيْنْ قَدِيرٌ And He is powerful to do everything. وَلَيْنْ أَرْسَلْنَا رِيحًا فَرَاهُ مُسْفَرًا لَذَلُّوا مِنْ بَعْدِهِ يَكْفَرُونَ And if we send a cold wind over there, over there, you know, harvest, and they say, and they see that the harvest had turned from green to yellow, لَذَلُّوا مِنْ بَعْدِهِ يَكْفَرُونَ Then they would, after that, certainly continue to disbelieve. فَإِنَّكَ لَا تُسْمِعُ الْمَوْتَى so you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, cannot make the dead hear. وَلَا تُسْمِعُ سُمَّ الدُّعَا إِذَا وَاللَّهُ مُدْبُرِينَ In the same way, you cannot make the deaf hear, especially when they turn their faces and go off. How can you convey your message to them? Either they are already dead. They are spirits in them. They are dead. They are like tombs, you know moving, just like Taziyas. So they are the moving tombs and nothing else. Their arvah, their spirits are dead within them. They seem to be human beings, but they are not human beings. They are now only animals. In the same way, you cannot guide the blind person from his errors. In tusmi'u illa man yu'minu bi ayatina. You can make here only those who believe in our revelation, Swahu Muslimun, and then they surrender. Allahu Ladi Khalakakum in Zofin. Allah is He who created you from weakness. When a person comes in this world as a baby, it's very weak, very frail. Cannot do anything. Sumajana Mimbar is Zofin Kuwatan. Then after that weakness, there is the power, the strength. A man attains puberty, he is young, he is full of life. Summa jala min baadi quwwat in zofan wa shayba. And then after that, the weakness and you know the gray hair, they come. You started with weakness, then there was the period of life when you were strong. Then again, when you have reached old age, hair are gray and your body is weak, frail. يَخْلُقُ مَا يَشَاهُ This is the creation of Allah. He creates whatever He likes. وَهُوَ الْحَلِيمُ الْقَدِيرُ And He is all-knowing, all-powerful. وَيَوْمَ تَخُوبُ السَّعَاتُ يُقْسِمُ الْمُجْرِمُونَ And the day when that hour will come, that day of resurrection will come, يُقْسِمُ الْمُجْرِمُونَ 
then these people they they will swear mala be suga rasatin that they didn't remain in the world more than an hour whole life of this maybe 80 years or 90 years or 70 years would appear to be as if it was one hour kazale ka kanu yu fakun in this way they were being deluded wa qala alladhina utu al-ilma wal imana laqad labistum fi kitab illa ila yawm al-ba's now those people who were given the knowledge and iman and belief and faith they would say you have lived in the book of allah to the day of resurrection this is the day of resurrection fahaza yawmul ba's now this is the day of resurrection when you have been resurrected from your graves walakinnakum kuntum la ta'lamun but you were not knowing it you were not accepting it you were not believing it fa yawma idhin la yanfa'u alladhina zalamu ma'dilatuhum so on that day the excuses will be of no use for those people who had done wrong to themselves wala hum yustatabun and nor will they be allowed to apologize there is you know a position when you are angry with somebody but you wish if he apologizes i will forgive him but this this anger can increase to a level no apology now you don't let him apologize there is no room for any apology so this is what is meant with quran by wala hum yustatabun neither excuses will be entertained nor they will be given permission or leave to apologize qalabna lil nas fi hadha al quran min kulli masal and we have struck in this quran for the guidance of the people all similitudes we have described our way in all the ways different styles different words different sequences wala in jaitahum bi ayatin and when you come to them with a new ayah la yaqulanna alladhina kafaru in antu billah mubtilun these people who disbelieve they will surely say no but you are forging and creating falsehood kazalika yatwa allah al qulub alladhina la ya'lamun in this way allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts a seal on the hearts of those who don't have knowledge as we have in the very first section of surah al baqarah khatam allah ala qulubihim wa ala sam'ihim wa ala absarihim bishawa who to whom so ever truth is revealed and his heart says yes this is correct this is true you must accept but he doesn't accept out of his haughtiness for example out of his thought that it might it will mean that he has succeeded i am failed he is hard than me then if i accept his what is what he is saying Now, if this is the condition, after some time, then Allah Taala puts a seal on the heart. Now, no advice can enter this heart, no admonition can enter this heart, no sermon can be beneficial for this heart. So, this is the Sunnah of Allah. First, bill. So, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the last instruction in this surah. First, bill. Persevere, endure with patience. wa inna wa'da Allah haqqun the promise of Allah is true what is that promise haqqun alayna nunjil mu'mineen kanat kan haqqan alayna nunjil mu'mineen this is the promise on us binding on us that we shall deliver the people who believe we shall help them wa la yansuranna Allah man yansuru this is our promise that Allah will definitely definitely help those who help him and we read you know the last ayah of surah al-ankabut wal ladina jahadu fina la nahdiyannahum subulana those who strive for our cause in our way we are we are we shall surely definitely without doubt guide them to our ways so these are the promises of allah fasbir inna wa'ad allah haqqun the promise of allah is true wala yastakhiffannaka alladina la yu'minun la yuqinun and see to it o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that those who don't believe they will not be able to make you feel uneasy or feeble or discouraged or disheartened 
due to their opposition, due to their la laughing at you, due to their mockery. Don't get, you know, feeble or discouraged or disheartened. Persevere in calling the people towards the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is the end of Surah Ar-Rum. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim wa nafani wa iyaakum bil ayati wa zikil hakeem. Allahu Akbar The Islamic Organization of North America, IONA, is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, Iman, in one's heart. 2. A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 3. A Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. 4. A Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing IONA is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at tanzeem.us or call our toll-free number, 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together, we can make a difference.